So next up is our two fellows that I've been working with for a while, David Wiedemann of David Wiedemann Consulting and Josh Wilson of some organization called Longsight. Um, but they're going to give us the quick tease on what makes an open source community healthy, the results of the open source health factors assessment. And then there'll be a workshop later on. So take it away, gentlemen. Hello, everybody. This is Dave Whedon. Nice to be here. Hey, Martin. Thank you for the intro. And here I have to admit something. I'm not actually sure how to share my screen. Um, if you see a plus in the lower left corner. I do not. Do you? I do not. You do? Okay. So uh, Wilma will make you a moderator. Or any of the other three team members here can just throw up our lightning. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Yep. She took care of you. So click on that and it should change it. You have the choice. Manage presentations, share an external video, drag files here to upload. Oh, it's in there. Current, confirm. Dave, oh. sharing a Chrome tab is the best way to do it. Share a tab, did not see that option. And Josh- yeah, you wanna use the share screen um, button to the right of the webcam. Tell you what, Wilma, why, why don't you give me presenter and I'll share and then Dave can just yell at me when he wants to change a slide because I've, I've already got the thing ready to go. I'm doing the list. It's a long list. That's the problem of making somebody job. presenter. You got to find them. All right. There we go. You are. Hello, I'm back. I, uh, I I hit the wrong button. And it's coming in here. We're seeing the screen now. Oh, good. All right, great. Yeah, there is a back button that was not a back button. It was an exit the entire talk button. So for, for, con for uh, context, every presentation I've given for this project, something unexpected has happened. This is not the worst. The worst was when the security officer escorted me out of the room. Um, so I'll jump in. Uh, everybody can hear me okay? We're good. Yes. Yeah, okay, Go good. All right, so uh, we're going to talk quickly. Hi, I'm Dave Wiedemann, and I'm happy to represent the Open Source Health Factors Survey Team. You see the names on the screen. Many of the people who are present in this call. And a uh, big shout out to them, and big shout out to our sponsors, Sakai Community and Longsite. We'll talk a little bit about what our project does, a survey we just developed and gave to the Sakai Community. and. Um, try to do it in 10 minutes or less. We can advance. Can I advance? Oh, here we go. Okay, here's our agenda. So we'll we'll overview what we're doing the project and the survey, and then we'll what we thought we'd do is give you the three big interesting questions that we think are raised by the survey data. We call those the ponderables, and then have a couple minutes for Q and A at the end. That's our plan. We're a little bit behind because of uh, technical shenanigans, uh, but we can proceed. We'll go quickly. Um, we have a session at 150. So if what you see, we're really gonna dip our toe into the data today of the survey. Uh, if what you see here is interesting to you, join us at 150 uh, right after this session. And we'll invite you to help us think more about the results of the survey. What is the Open Source Health Factors Project? Well, it's a project that was designed to answer that first question. That was our goal. What makes an open source community healthy? We define healthy in a particular way that we, an organization takes care of its people, does its work well, thrives and endures. Long story short, we spent a couple of years working on this, did a lot of research, engaged with the Sakai community, came up with nine factors that we thought would influence health in an organization or an open source community. Then we designed a survey to measure for the presence of those factors. And we tested that survey and we implemented that survey for the first time in an open source community last month with Sakai. And the results are going to be on the next slide. Highest level results are what we call the categories. Three broad categories of uh, co that combine all of the nine factors that we won't go into in this presentation. But first category, category names on the left, basic idea of the categories in the middle column and on the right is what the Sakai community told us about how they thought they were doing on this category. So first category, people, do we take care of people? Doing pretty well, excellent, in fact. Second two categories, are we well coordinated in our work and is our organization well-designed and well-led? 
still doing pretty well, but those categories rank as having an, a, you know, an improvement, some small but minor improvements that could be made in them. But overall, highest level, the community looks on this, according to this, these measures, pretty healthy with uh, small, small areas of improvement. Uh, and that is your, <laughs> that's the end of your dipping your toe into the data. Now we want to just shift a little and talk about what, as we were looking at all the data that came from the survey, what big questions came out for us. And I will pass it over to my colleague, Josh, to talk about the ponderables. Hey gang, so I'm here to tease the ponderables that we're going to dig into in uh, the workshop that starts at 150. So most of that workshop will be an opportunity for breakout groups to look at these ponderables and there will be more data associated with each one than you see here in this presentation and really kind of think about what does this mean for us and what might we, what might we do to address this so here are the three ponderable questions that we came up with and remember this was this was from our holistic look at the quantitative data that came out of the survey the qualitative data that would that the survey brought forth through some open-ended questions so we, we thought to ourselves, all right, what is most meaningful here? What should we as a community be thinking about? So three questions, how could we get better at hearing varying perspectives and resolving differences, distributing workload and managing burnout? And number three, ensuring strategy and coordination. So let me tease just a little bit more for the first question. How can we get better at hearing varying perspectives and resolving differences? You'll see more data points in the 150 hour, but here are two that are interesting. Uh, one measure, we provide honest feedback to each other. The mean there was, was 83. So that was uh, the eighth highest of the 31 points of measurement. On the other hand, our community addresses important issues even when they make us uncomfortable. A little bit less, uh, we consider ourselves a little bit less successful at that. That's kind of interesting. So. What does it mean that we provide honest feedback, but maybe we're a little bit more challenged at addressing important issues? That's something that a group of us can talk about in a breakout session this afternoon. Moving on to ponderable number two, here are two data points here. Um, how can we get better at distributing workload and managing burnout? Our meetings are productive. The mean here was, was 70, so we thought that was something that was decent but needs improvement. Our community has low levels of burnout. This was the lowest a scoring item on the survey with a mean of 55. So we're productive, but we have lots of burnout. What does this mean? Something, something to ponder. And ponderable number three, how can we get better at ensuring strategy and coordination? So two data points here that I'll share with you. We have a strategic plan with a mean of 83. So a fair amount of success in doing that. Our community leaders share a clear vision, not quite so good. So you know, what does it mean that we have a plan, but our vision that's shared is not as clear as we want it to be or not as well shared as we want it to be? Uh, this group will also look at three other data points this afternoon uh, that look at coordination of our activities as well. These two happen to do with strategy. So these are the three ponderables that, uh, that we want to tease you with and hopefully get you to join us for discussing in the 150 hour. So let me turn the rest of the presentation back over to Dave. This Dave, there were a couple of Davids. Hi everybody, I'm back. And I think we've used up our 10 minutes, but we were gonna have a little bit of Q and A time in case anybody had a question or two. Maybe we, we Martin, we really have to you, pass on. You've got question. about one minute left. Yeah, you've yeah, got one minute. minute. So does anybody have a quick question that they can ask in 30 seconds and then we can answer in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> While you're thinking about that, I'll just say thank you to uh, to everybody again to the Sakai community. Let us observe and interview them, and to the Longsite who helped sponsor the work. And team members are all here present, except for Jennifer Burns, who couldn't join us today. And I'll say that this was just uh, it's you know th th this is data driven, but it gives us a chance as a community to sort of you know do some introspection. So. Thank you very much, David and Josh.